Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. I want to talk to you about grounding a hydro massage tub. We're in November 2019 of the 2017 code book. Um, articles that may apply. Um, 680.70. Um, I think it's 74B. And then there's 680. Um, I looked it up yesterday for an inspector. I think it was 33 or 32. Um, they kind of contradict themselves, if you ask me a little bit. Uh, one of it talks about an indoor massage tub. That's a hydro massage. Uh, and the other part of the article talks about the fact that you're going to have to bond it um, with a number eight minimum, stranded, insulated, bare. Uh, but it has to be copper, not aluminum. But you're bonding the frame is what I take. But a lot of these massage tubs are turning into plastic uh, surrounded motors. Like that one itself is plastic. So the only thing that's going to have metal in is inside on the winding. Besides maybe that bracket. But that bracket right there is actually plastic. That's just an air pump. But this is going to be more of your circulation pump. And that is metal in there. So the inspector is right. Bonding that motor. And then tagging it green. I'll do a second video on this, but it's going to be pretty interesting because uh, once this thing sits against the wall, my plugs are right here. And I was more concerned about I'll never be able to service my plugs unless you pull the whole tub. But then you've got freestanding hot and cold valves over here out of the cement coming up. So they have to detach somehow or it'll just pull out. But we have to have a way to plug these in. And the manufacturer doesn't really care, I guess, about readily accessible in the code, Article 100. Because this, this wire is really long, but this cable conductor coming out is short. So, again, I'll do probably three videos and talk to you about the code on it. But I kind of feel like it's a little bit redundant here. Um, but, yeah, I see the frame. That makes sense. But... Uh, You'll see downstairs that I'm already GFCI'd and I decided to AFCI protect it because the breaker's cheaper than a GFCI and a Siemens. So I just dual functioned it. A dedicated 20 amp circuit, a little redundant. These things are probably only pulling about two amps with both motors on, I doubt even that. But you gotta do that based on manufacturer. So if it had a heater, it would have maybe had two circuits. Sometimes you can go with one if you do your math. Um, but yeah, so I ran a number six. And this is going to splice. It may actually just go right into that box. And that was the uh, discussion between the GC, me, and the inspector on a three-way phone call that what's the point of going back to the panel? You know, what, we could take it to the, brown, the, the ground on the electrode. Excuse me, the ground on the Brent circuit, not the electrode. And so... Yet you'll see in the next video that there's a panel, and then there's the water bond. This house is brand new, so it's of course got its UFER and it's also got the cold water bond upstairs on the main panel outside here. So this is my feed of my conduit to the basement. So that was a number 63 Romix, so that's probably a number eight ground. And yet here I am. That might even be a 10 ground, but here I am with an eight ground that I'm supposed to have, if not a six. Going back on a 12 gauge, uh, 20 amp, uh, um, probably a number 12 bare copper. So why is this ground larger than the ground for the brand circuit, but yet the code says you can? Um, I, I kind of think that's similar to looking at it from a perspective of Article 25130C when you're grounding um, some of your brand circuits. You can go to one of the nearest electrodes, but Article 250, I think it's 94 on gas pipe, you can go to uh, a branch circuit that's smaller because it doesn't have a chart that refers you to 251.22 on after the breaker and what size grounds you have to run. So some of it in the code doesn't really make sense, like hot tubs as well. You run a 6.3 Romex, that can be a 10 solid ground, but yet the hot tub company says you need an eight gauge through the whole ground. Well, they don't make by manufacturer a 6.3 with an eight ground. So anyways, guys, uh, you gotta use some of your common sense on this, but again, you'll see in the next video, plastic pipes and stuff. Thanks.